Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. Before we get started, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Tuesday. This is an espresso-centric channel, so we basically deal with Virtuo and Original Line Nespresso coffees and some unboxings every now and again. If that interests you, make sure you stick around. Oh, well, um, we officially ended last month's contest and this video starts the official new contest. So here's how it's gonna work. The last contest, you were looking for changes in the background. This one should be substantially easier. What, well, easier, harder, I don't know which. This one, you are listening for a word that does not fit in the sentence. I will give you an example. Um, this is a delicious coffee. It's very smooth, monkey. I think you should purchase it. Something like that, it doesn't fit. This is a very, uh, this coffee was extremely good over ice, Ferris wheel. It doesn't fit. You're listening for a word that does not fit in the sentence. I hope that makes sense. So it'll be something absolutely completely has nothing to do with what we're talking about, has nothing to do with the sentence. It could be something like, let's go brew another cup, couch. And then we go off. It, it doesn't make sense. So that's the stuff that you're looking for. Hopefully this one's easier. This will be the first video where you can now listen for a word that does not fit. It will not be a word that is any way related to coffee or what we're talking about. It is going to be some abstract word that absolutely does not fit in the sentence. There you go. And each month, August being the first video, this being the first video, each month we typically have uh, four or five, depends how the month plays out, but we have typically whatever video lands in that month. So August, we'll probably have four videos, this being the first. One of the four videos could be the first, second, third, or fourth video. One of them will have that one word. If you are the first one to put the word or the comment down in the comment section. So you hear me say Ferris wheel. You dropped to the comment section and said, your, uh, your word was Ferris wheel, you win automatically. This is for US and Canada. We're gonna keep it open for Canada. You get your, your choice of whatever coffee you want, providing I can get my hands on it. Uh, I may have it in stock. If I don't have it in stock, I have to order it and get it in and ship it, but it's open to US and Canada your choice of coffee, it's as simple as putting, as being the first one to put the word down in the comment section. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> last week, I proposed a new pod system rating, like a one to five pod. I also uh, put it on my Patreon page. Uh, speaking of that, I got some more Patreon subscribers. They'll be at the end of this video. Um, Thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot to me that you um, enjoy the channel enough to support me directly. That's just awesome. Awesome and humbling at the same time. It really is. I don't say those words lightly. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Most of you uh, commented that you liked the pod rating idea. There was a few spins on, some people thought it should be one to 10. Some people thought it should be uh, include a pass or purchase. So ultimately I took all of those comments, but more importantly, the most heavy weight that I put is what the patrons uh, said. And the patrons voted for using the one to five scale for the pods and a pass purchase. So starting with this video, we're gonna put it on a one to five scale with a pass or a purchase. Five being 
awesome, four being really good, three being average, two being okay, and one being eh, kind of, eh. and then I'll just give it a pass or a purchase. So there you go. There you have it. That'll be the new rating system going forward. Moving on to this week's attraction, Cafecito de Cuba for the original line. This was requested by a bunch of people. I kind of put it off. <laughs> I don't know why. I kind of put it off for a while because I hadn't done the Cafe de Cuba for 2020. And this is the Cafecito de Cuba for 2020 for the original line. So let's take a look at what they have to say. All right, Cafecito de Cuba, the aromatic profile, the dark roasted intense character of this coffee echoes the passionate rhythms of authentic Cuban culture and boasts powerful and delightful smoky notes of wood and tobacco leaves. Oh, that was actually what I didn't like about 2019's Cafe de Cuba. So we'll, we'll see. We'll give it a fair shot. Let's take a, uh, take a look at what else they have to say here. Uh, they have Intensity 10 and it's a Ristretto. So it's going to be, depending kind of how this plays out, that's going to be, it's an extremely small shot. Intensity 10, this could be thick and, and really, really flavorful. Let's take a look at the roasting here on this one. To enhance the potential of the beans and highlight their authenticity, Nespresso experts applied a sophisticated split roasting technique. One half of the beans were roasted for a shorter time to a lighter color to bring out all the unique flavors and specific aromas of the coffee. The other half was roasted for a longer time to a much darker color to create a strong body with velvety texture and intense rich flavors. Well, let's take a look here. We got Cafecito de Cuba. Little pods. Yeah. Oop, a few damaged ones, not too bad. Cafecito de Cuba written on the side. It is not on the bottom. That is your pod there. You can see the wording. It's not labeled on the bottom, not a big deal since they've labeled it so, so well on the actual pod. It's kind of a cream white pod, red lettering. Intense, woody notes, smoky tobacco. Cafecito de Cuba, let's go brew a shot. Cafecito de Cuba in the Ristretto setting. Round one. All right, that is done. Whew, it's dark. Has virtually no smell to it. I didn't even smell anything while it was brewing. Let's go give it a taste. I'm just gonna fold this in just a touch here. All right, Cafecito de Cuba. Ristretto setting, let's give it a taste. Holy, oh man. Wow, that's strong. Woo, woo, that was, oh man. I had a little bit of a tank, hmm, interesting. Hmm. It's got a, yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's got a, a smoky note, but pleasantly, in my opinion, not much of that tobacco is coming out. It's a very, yeah, it's got a little bit of a, little bit of a, of a bite, like, just a little bit, and it could be an acidic portion of it, but it's got a little bit like right on the tip of my tongue for like an acid or a little bit of a bite. Uh, the 
woody, smoky. Yeah, I guess I could go with that description. Uh, smoky is definitely there. What I'm not tasting at all, which in my opinion is a good thing, is the tobacco part. That's what I really didn't like in last year's. Intensity 10. Right off the bat, the first hit, probably now it, it's okay. I, I would say, oh, let me think. You're, you're looking at almost Kazar level. I said Kazar level. Actually, it's the Italiano. The Kazar is at 12. It has a trying to figure out what the uh, it's I don't detect much oil in it at all so it's it's kind of a quicker it's kind of a quicker flavor and then gone but it has a little bit almost like a sediment like a little bit like a fine dust sediment on your tongue a little bit gritty is the best way I can describe I'm gonna run out of coffee trying to Yeah, there's not much for body. Oil, pretty much non-existent in it. I would say they fairly accurately described it. The smoky notes are is not in your face, but I think the, the part that for me is missing is the tobacco taste, which was so prevalent in the 2019 Cafe de Cuba. So... I don't know what's so different, but this one does not have that. All right, so I was looking at their site. Uh, they don't really list a recipe. They don't really list anything else for this, but I think I do want to pull it as an espresso shot just to give that a try, see how that plays out with a longer pour. So, Cafecito de Cuba, round two. Let's go brew another shot. Cafecito de Cuba in the espresso setting. Let's get this guy going. All right, that did not take long. Uh, it doesn't look like it's changed a whole lot. Maybe just slightly lighter. Boy, still not much for smell at all. Eh, let's go give it a taste. Just gonna fold in just a little bit again. Cafecito de Cuba in the espresso setting. Give it a taste. Hmm. It was so much lighter than the previous one. I was having trouble picking it up, so I had to rinse real quick. And yeah, still the uh, smoky kind of. It's got a little bit of a. Now it's almost got just like on the tip of my tongue, that acidic has kind of gone almost a little bit tart. Still no tobacco taste to it. I don't know what. Yeah, it's just a very, for, for me, it's a, it's a very watery kind of nondescript taste. Um, the smoky, woody, I guess to, to make it something unique, the tobacco would actually need to be more forward. And for myself, I don't really taste any. Now that's okay because I really didn't like it, but without it, it kind of, it's, it's very unremarkable. So I think what we should do is try, let's just try this as Let's go back to a ristretto. Let's turn it into maybe milk and something else in it. I'm still kind of pondering. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't treat it kind of like it was with the virtual line and add a little bit of brown sugar into it. Boy, this one's tough. This one's tough for me because I'm not picking up on the tobacco. Ugh, boy, um, let's try it. Let's just go round three. Let's see what we can't do with this here. So 
Cafecito de Cuba, round three. Let's go brew another shot. All right, we're gonna go round three. We went back to the Ristretto setting, so I'm gonna get that going. That should go pretty quick. We have basically an ounce of milk. Now I'm gonna add, I actually wanna put it in the milk so it can kind of get dissolved in there. I don't wanna to put too much because I don't wanna get it overly sweet. I was looking at the one for, they, they, they mentioned a good tablespoon, but that was for the virtual line, which was a full cup. So I'm just gonna take it down to just a little bit. Espresso is done. All right, we're gonna add in our milk here. Well, one ounce of milk, a little bit of brown sugar, Ristretto setting, Cafe de Cuba. Let's go give it a taste. All right, I'm just gonna fold this in again just a little bit here. We have uh, Cafecito de Cuba. Ristretto setting, milk, one ounce, little bit of, I can't tell you how much, but it was just a little bit of brown sugar. Let's give this a taste. Hmm. That's kind of different. It's got now the woody flavors coming out a lot more. Boy. The woody flavors coming out, the smoky has, for me, has kind of stepped way, way, way in the back. And now I'm actually tasting a little bit of the tobacco. It has a little bit of a, well, tobacco flavor to it. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, it's got a little bit of a Yeah, the tobacco flavors definitely come forward quite a bit more now. <sighs> For the woody flavor is there. The smoky flavor is all but gone, but now the tobacco flavor has come forward, which to make this unique was probably good. For me, not my thing. I, I don't really care for that kind of flavor in a coffee. So let's take a look at what they're doing here. Cafecito de Cuba, limited edition, buck 25 a pod. Um, boy, oh, kind of have a weird residual tobacco flavor now in my mouth. That's kind of odd for me this is gonna get uh it's gonna be a pass i as a ristretto it, it really fell flat it, the the woody smoky was there tobacco was non-existent and it, it's it, watery like when i first took a, a a drink of it um it was very potent so the level is probably close, maybe a little less than what they're listing, but it's watery. So it hits and then it's just kind of gone. It just doesn't have much oil or body to it. Um, in the espresso, mm, this, it seemed like the smoky portion of it took a back seat. The woody notes were definitely there. And then some of that tobacco with that lingering flavor was there. For me, I don't care for, the woody smoky was okay, but there's a lot better pods that emulate that flavor. They have a much better profile, they have a much better texture. Uh, Cafecito de Cuba for me is a pass. So I guess on the one to five pod scale, they're gonna take a, li a little bit for me to learn this also. Um, I'm gonna say it's a pass, but I'm gonna give it a two for okay. It's okay. It's just very, very average. It's not bad. So it's not in the one category. It just falls in the okay category. But as far as a purchase, it would be a pass for me. I don't know what you're gonna do with it. 
It's set up as a ristretto, and as you saw in my first one, I literally ran out of espresso trying to describe what little was going on there, and it was just, it was so fleeting. The flavors were so quick off your palate that it was hard for me to pick apart what was going on there before the flavor was just completely gone. Its primary function is a ristretto, and for that, it's, it's a pass, so it's gonna be two out of five pods for this one. That'll bring us to a close of another video. I thank you so much for your time. If there is something that you would like to see reviewed, drop that down in the comments, as long as it's for the virtual line or the original line. I'll do my level best to get that out to you as soon as I can. For all my patrons, uh, thank you so much. I enjoy each and every one of you. Uh, love messaging back and forth with you guys and talking over there. Um, it means the world to me that uh, you support the channel that way. And if you would like to become a patron, join us over at patreon.com forward slash IPON70. It's the same as the channel and you can support the channel that way. Until next week with another coffee video, have a great rest of your day.